How are people eating fish without constant fear of swallowing bones? I learned fairly young how to debone different kinds of fish. I caught my own, butcher and cut them up. I also go to a professional fishmonger and try to work with them rather than the grocery store. Bulk stuff. If they aren't swamped with work, they are usually willing to go over and debone and look for pin bones while you watch. That way they do the work for you and they teach you how to do it yourself in the future. Different fish will have different bones and structures. It's a lot easier to debone a larger fish like tuna and salmon. It's fairly straightforward to lay a piece of salmon over a can or other thing to help find pin. Bones that can be removed with pliers or tweezers. If you like perch or flounder, those bones can be harder to find, as well as smaller and finer. While they may be uncomfortable, do realize that they usually won't hurt you. The really small ones just get swallowed and digested, giving us more calcium. In tiny fish like sardines and anchovy, we just eat the bones as they are. It takes practice. Figure out what resources you have available, whether that is a local fisherman, chef, or fishmonger, a cooking class or a YouTube video, deboning knives filleting knives, tweezers, or just a flashlight and your paring knife. Use what you can to learn and practice so you feel more confident. Maybe you could enjoy your fish more. If you cook it yourself, you have a greater degree of control over that. They are pretty easy to detect in a fillet. Most reputable restaurants shouldn't make the mistake of letting a fishbone get by them. There shouldn't be any bones in a filet, for example, or in sushi. Those little bones won't kill you, they're just a little unpleasant. I buy filets, and I don't bother with the bones. Fish is very healthy. That's why the bigger fish are more popular in industrialized countries. I've never had a bone in my fish and chips or tuna sandwich. I don't eat the kinds of fish that have a million small bones like that, for that reason. I tend to select fish 1, that have been filleted by someone that knows what they're doing and 2, naturally don't have as many small bones. I agree that the bones take some of the pleasure out of eating fish, and have eaten enough to know there's always a chance you'll encounter some. Mostly they're just a nuisance. But I did once get a small bone stuck in the back of my throat for a few days. It didn't do me any real harm. But it was painful. I probably waste a lot of good fish trying to avoid bones. Those little bones are edible, they're not going to hurt you. Because there's a method to deboning fish. And even if you did eat one, they're small and thin. You'll just digest them. Yeah same man, I don't feel like eating fish because of this. Just learn how the fish is laid out and you know where the bones are. They're not randomly in there. I fish a ton and harvest what I catch every now and then. Most fish skeletons have what are called Y bones, or more commonly referred to as pin bones. These are the bones you tend to find in fillets as the protrude out at a 90 degree angle from the spine. When filleting a fish, you pull the fillet, meat away from the spine, which is most of the bones, and the pin bones can be easily cut of fillets with little meat loss. But on larger fish fillets like salmon, you can come back and run your finger against the grain and locate these pin bones and pull them out with tweezers. On smaller fish the pin bones don't go very far back. So you can cut a small, V, shape out of the largest part of the fillet. At the end of the day, if you do get a pin bone, you're likely to notice it and remove it before swallowing. In the event that you don't and inadvertently swallow a pin bone, you likely didn't notice and it won't have any negative effect on you. Don't worry too much. Gotta be cautious. I fried some catfish yesterday and found a bone in the piece I ate. 
I'll always love fried catfish. Need to watch the bones. You have three options 1. Use your hands to debone the fish if at home 2. Just chew the bones 3. Perish. If I am eating fish fillet in a container restaurant I ask it be cooked so it is firm. Don't like mushy fish. Then I use the fork to split the flakes which usually allows you to find the bones. So from where I come from we eat fish every single day. With time you'll figure out which areas of a fish to be extra careful around. If it's the whole fish. And there shouldn't be any unfilleted fish. It's not as scary as it sounds as you probably eat a lot of bones without knowing in 99% of the times you wouldn't even notice so I wouldn't stress about it that much. Any bones you might choke on would definitely be noticeable in the first few chews and if not then. You'll be definitely fine. Agreed. It isn't pleasant at all, especially when you're a gannet. I am in fear since my sister ended up in a hospital but I still eat fish. Just eat fish cakes then. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.